What's up, Internet? Welcome one, welcome all to the second year anniversary for this channel. That's right, it has been a grand total of two years since I uploaded the Chasuke to Guardian video all the way back in 2017 for Breath of the Wild. And we've come a really long way, honestly. It didn't feel like it's been a whole year since I last did the one year anniversary um, in 2018, but 2018 was a really, really crazy year for all of us, and I was never really running out of things to do, which I'm very glad for. It's so much momentum moving forward, and honestly, I really enjoy doing the stuff that we've been doing on the channel anyways, and I really want to thank you guys, all of you guys watching this video right now, whether you guys have been following me since 2017 or just earlier in 2019, uh, I really couldn't have done this without you guys. It's a lot easier to make videos and be motivated to do stuff when I know people are willing to see the stuff. And while we not, you know, we might not necessarily be breaking the charts in any stretch of the imagination, but I am really, really glad to be doing what I do, and I wouldn't mind continuing to do this for the next year or even the next two years. Let's try to make it happen. So before I just, you know, I want to make this a really brief video. I don't want to waste too much of your time. I just want to say thanks to all you guys and quickly go over what my plans for the year moving forward is going to be. Like I said earlier, I am very interested in continuing what I'm doing. I, I really enjoyed this hobby because it coincides with my love for playing video games, but also coincides with my love for commentary, which is something that I was trying to figure out for this past year alone. For those of you guys that aren't aware, I actually was trying to figure out uh, the answer to a question that I'm sure a lot of new YouTube channels are trying to find the answer to themselves. And for me, that is, uh, what is my goal here? What is my niche? What am I trying to fill out? And it turns out, uh, the two things I love to do, playing video games and commentating, actually works pretty well hand in hand, and that's what I plan to do for the near future. Uh, we are going to be slowing things down a little bit, just because, you know, I'm working now, I'm uh, pretty busy with IRL stuff, uh, but I am still going to try to commit to do a weekly uh, video schedule uh, com in comparison to previous, um, previously where we did like a video every like couple of days. It was really, really hectic because of Xenoblade 2 really taking up our time. Octopath Traveler took up a lot of time as well. And then Smash Bros, now that it's out, so I'm trying to learn how to play this game more so I can make better quality of videos for you guys for those games. So that's going to be my plan though. My plan is that we're just going to do weekly videos. I I'd rather that we just keep on going at a very... Uh, predictable momentum so that I don't get burnt out so that I don't end up thinking to myself oh my gosh I really really like this video I guess I'm never gonna upload ever again uh, so that's kind of what it is uh, I was originally thinking of some sort of like exit plan but I don't think we're gonna be petering out anytime soon and uh, if anything does happen I'll be sure to let you guys know because I think you guys deserve some transparency especially because I'm the guy that loves to hide his face so uh, I guess also before we continue, I wanted to say, like kind of looking back on this year, a couple of my favorite moments, uh, just kind of narrow it down a little bit. I would say that like we've hit a massive milestone on the channel, not even like two weeks ago, when the like how to get powerful equips after the plateau for Breath of the Wild video broke a million views, which is the most viewed video on our entire channel, which I'm really happy for. Actually kind of mixed feelings because that was also when the, uh, the mic quality was different. That's how when we had a different capture card and a different headset. And I did remake that video uh, for the Strongest Start video, uh, which I think would have been like a much better thing to do or for much better for people to watch for that thing to go viral instead. But that's okay. Honestly, I'm glad we reached the 1 million mark. I never would have like believed in my wildest dreams that such a thing would even happen to us, but here we are. The other thing I wanted to mention too is I think our most viewed video is the Rare Blades Ranked video. Now that was a funny video. Um, I actually enjoyed making that video a lot because people don't realize it, but when I was recording the commentary for that particular video, I was standing in a lecture hall. Um, I had my laptop and my headset and then I just put on Audacity and then I walked around the lecture hall while talking about all the different weapon classes. Obviously, a lot, like that particular video, in my opinion, didn't age super well. I think it's a pretty decent guideline for people that are getting started, as is what I'm trying to do with my channel these days, for people to get started at the game. But um, yeah, I really enjoyed making that video and I'm glad that people enjoyed it and were pretty decent in discussing or disagreeing with me on certain points that I made. Uh, the same thing can be said for Xenoblade Chronicles 2 in general. People have had some of their grievances be made known, but they were very polite about it and that's what I really appreciate. Um, that's kind of the funny thing about YouTube is that I hear a lot of people complain about toxicity in comments, but to be honest, I always found that I, I tried my best to be patient with them, as, like as patient as them with them as I could, 
and I think that kind of turned out well. People were very gracious to me for reaching out, and I really want to thank people, particularly at the Xenoblade Chronicles 2 Reddit, uh, for being kind when it came to making build videos. Speaking of builds, uh, one of the other things that I really enjoyed doing this year, and one of my favorite videos to make this year was Octopath Traveler for Tressa, uh, Tressa the Hero, as it were. And this is a really cool one because it was kind of a part two to the Tressa Rune Lord video that I made previously. And for those guys that aren't aware, I wanted to make her seem like a support unit in one end of the spectrum, but then make her like a full power unit on the opposite end. And I think it turned out really, really well. Actually, that recording, as I recall, it was a 20 minute video. I spent a grand total of like 25 minutes recording that one. Like, like the entire thing went off without a hitch and it was amazing. Uh, there was very little editing. For those of you guys that don't know, whenever I make videos and commentary tracks, they're always done at the same time. And since I'm so lazy at editing my audio, I don't like the idea of cutting out audio and bits and pieces to take out my stuttering. So I just trained myself to not stutter or to stutter less rather. And uh, the Tressa Rune Lord Hero video turned out really, really well because it embodied what I wanted to do with my YouTube channel, and that's to express the various ways that a person can build characters, the way that they can approach games. It's always different. Like, there's gonna be the very optimal ways, which I can understand and enjoy, but also there's the more fun roundabout ways, which I think also deserves a notice because ultimately, I just want you guys to play the game. Or I, I think we should all just learn to, uh, you know, to enjoy playing the game. And I'm glad that the Res uh, Tressa Rune Lord video kind of conveyed both of those points. The other video that I was really happy about making in 2018, uh, this is pretty predictable, I'm pretty sure you guys know this, uh, was my hour-long talk with Sky Bennett, the voice actress for Pyra and Mithra from Zenobly Chronicles 2. Now this was a cool one, I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't be able to get a hold of her for the interview, but she was actually really chill about it, and that's kind of what surprised me. I remember how like how weirded out I was. I didn't attend her first stream, that was around the time she started streaming Xenoblade 2 on, on Twitch, and I was unfamiliar with her regular speaking voice, so it was kind of surreal to have her enter the call and she speaks with her accent. I'm like, wait, what the heck is going on right now? But yeah, it was a really, really fun time. Uh, like, I can tell that uh, maybe I probably enjoyed the conversation more than she did, but it was really, really fun to kind of discuss Xenoblade Chronicles 2 from the perspective of both of us who are people that are unfamiliar with Zeno in general, people that are pretty new to the series, and it was cool to see that Xenoblade Chronicles 2 is that kind of game where you might not be familiar with previous games, but you can still gain a very large appreciation. And it was just really fun to talk to her about it. I was originally only supposed to talk to her for 30 minutes, but of course, I love to talk, and uh, it just it didn't feel like 30 minutes at the time, too. It was, it was just a really, really good conversation and talking about like voice acting, which is a topic that I have a lot of fascination with, and just the concept of bringing characters to life in a video game. And it's pretty surreal to see, you know, like Pyra and Mithra do stuff in game, thinking to myself, oh my gosh, I talked to a voice actress a couple of months ago. That's awesome. Uh, but yeah, guys, um, that's pretty much all I can really say. Uh, oh, do you know what? Before I uh, finish things off though, I also want to say my least favorite video. <laughs> Not, well, not least favorite. I love making all my videos. I kind of have this rule where I'm only going to upload videos that I myself would enjoy watching. Uh, but I think the one that was the hardest to make, you know, I said that Tressa, it literally only took me like 25 minutes to, to record and edit the video. But when it came to the Cassandra video, oh my goodness, the Cassandra video, it's kind of fitting that the blade that's known for being misfortune and bad luck was really difficult to make the recordings for. Because again, like I said, I always do live commentary and there will be times where in my head I wonder to myself, whenever I take multiple takes in one sitting, I ask myself, wait a minute, didn't I already say this? Didn't I already make that point just a few seconds ago or in the previous take? Or was it in this current take right now? Or should I risk repeating myself uh, in order to make sure the information stays? Not to mention that like Gladiator Orion, the boss that we fought in that video, was like super difficult. So it was a really frustrating fight. I actually regret, because I was super mad um, at the end of it all. I think in the end, it took me like three hours to make that video. Uh, for the recording alone, not even counting the editing, just the, the recording took three hours of dying to Gladiator, uh, Gladiator Orion to stupid stuff. And I actually kind of regret, because I was really mad at the time, and I deleted a lot of that footage of me getting mad and yelling over the stupidest deaths, which is unfortunate because, uh, 
Yeah, honestly, I, I think moving forward, something I should learn to do is just learn to enjoy the ride and uh, keep a lot of that stock footage so that it doesn't get lost. So you guys can see me get cassandra all the time. I think that would be really, really fun. But yeah, I think uh, I've kind of gone on for a little bit long. So guys, again, thank you very, very much for supporting me for these past um, two years here on YouTube. I wasn't expecting to last this long, but considering that people are paying attention, I figured I might as well continue uh, sort of as a tribute to you guys. We've gone up about 11,000 subscribers since the last time I made this video or the anniversary video, which is insanely good from my perspective. And here's hoping that we can get some more and I'll do whatever I can to make sure that this channel will be consistent and as helpful as it's always been. We might slow down a little bit, but I promise we're gonna be consistent, and I think that's what I'm aiming for at the end of the day. There's a few games on the horizon. I don't like to say too much about my plans, about which games I will cover, but I have a pretty good idea of what formats I want to run, and I think that's gonna be the best thing for us. Anyways, guys, thank you very much. Happy two-year anniversary, YouTube channel, and I think that's all the time we have. We out.